In a telephone conversation on Wednesday, U.S. President Donald Trump told his Mexican counterpart that he would be forced to deploy troops into Mexico unless the country brought organized crime under control. The news has shocked Mexicans who have felt themselves victimized since Trump's arrival in the White House. He thinks that he's going to just come into the country and slap people around and he's going to say, well, I promised that I would do it and I did it. I think as a Mexican, we'll stand up to him. Mexican are going to fight really bad. I mean, let me tell you, we're not going to just, you know, hold your hands like this and stuff like that. We're going to fight to the end. In the transcript of the two presidents' conversation, Trump referred to Mexico's, quote, bad hombres, a problem in which many here feel the U.S. is complicit. Narco-trafficking would stop overnight if there was no market for it. But which country consumes the most narcotics? It's the United States. Mexico produces the drugs, but the Americans buy them. It's a two-way relationship. Yet not every Mexican seems to think the deployment of U.S. troops would be a bad idea. The Mexican army has done very little to fight organized crime, and many of us live constantly in fear. Perhaps the U.S. army could achieve what our own forces haven't been able to. More than Trump's economic and military threats, many here are disappointed in the anti-Mexican sentiment that is growing in the U.S. The Mexican public's horror at the idea of President Trump sending U.S. troops south of the border has quickly turned into indignation. How seriously the government has taken the threat remains unclear, but it nevertheless represents a further deterioration in the two countries' relationship. Alistair Bavistock, Press TV, Mexico City.